RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show is brought to you by Becker Underwood, Pride Seeds, and CNM Seeds. We're here today on RealAgriculture.com, we're at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. We're joined right now by John McInerney from Keenan True Technology TMR Mixers. Welcome today, John. Thank you. Okay, John, uh, you got a big mixer behind you. What makes your guys' mixer maybe different than some of the others that are on the market? Number one, this is a paddle mixer. And the, the vast majority of mixers on the market are auger type mixers. And the perception of the auger type mixer is that they're more aggressive when it comes to mixing feed and they require a lot of horsepower. The Keenan is a paddle mixer. It's all about easy, gentle mixing. Easy on the feed, easy on the equipment. So there's no auger in there? It's just a, it's a, a, there's the only auger in the machine itself is the unloading auger. And the feed is not in touch, does not come in touch with the feed, with the mixing process, period. Okay. It only is in touch with the feed when you're taking it out. So does that, how does that, why is that better? It's better from the standpoint that it, uh, with a, a moving auger, uh, studies have shown that, that the brands that have an auger, this part of the main body of the machine, that the feed suffers anywhere up to about a 20% degradation, meaning that it's too fine, it's ground too fine. Okay, so when when someone uses a Keaton mixer, the there's a lot more uh, bigger pieces in it, I guess, or is it coarser? Or? Yeah, the, 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 in a snapshot, the Keenan stands for, we always maintain that you'll never compromise what you want to feed with a Keenan in terms of fiber, for example, hay and straw. It'll cut fiber consistently the width of the cow's muzzle, which is the way nature intended it to be. If you put the animal in the field, that's exactly the way, the way they would graze. And so consequently, it makes a complete ration without separation by the cow. So you can handle your corn silage, your haylage. Uh, the Keenan actually is even a sealed unit. And, uh, and water is the most uh, commonly overlooked commodity uh, you know, that, that farmers probably ignore to their own peril. And this is a sealed unit, so you can add water, you can add liquid molasses, you can add liquid whey, and these are you know, fairly common inputs. So this big unit behind us, how many pounds does it have at one time? Yeah, this, this actually uh, is a 28 cubic meter, 1,000 cubic feet capacity, and okay. it will feed 200 cows. With, a, uh, with an intake of 21 to 23 kilos. And I, I was hearing that you can put actually a bale on top of it and it'll mix in a bale? Yeah, you can, and the bale handler type will handle baleage, it'll handle round bales and large square bales, absolutely. Okay, is that pretty popular, people grinding in uh, straw right into the mixer? That's a very, very good question. Uh, it's taken a long time, as a matter of fact, uh, to get farmers convinced about the value and the merit of, of using straw, for example, uh, as a source of fiber, uh, and similarly with dry hay. Uh, I think the, the, the handicap, uh, the negative maybe in terms of uh, more farmers adapting, uh, that is part of the ration would be the inability of their current mixer to be able to process it. I mean, many of the mixers on the market today, if you throw fiber in, it'll wrap around the stirators or the augers, and and then you end up at, uh, you know, like very, very complicated and labor intensive from the standpoint of trying to get it emptied out. Whereas the Keenan actually will bring that to the table in terms of being able to process that that fiber. We 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 we're pioneer, real pioneers, as a matter of fact, in the utilization of straw. Uh, we claim, for example, that straw is a commodity that is most easily overlooked. It's got no value, but it has great effect in terms of the rumen itself. Uh, it, it'll cut it consistently, the width of the cow's muzzle, with sharp, clean edges. So when that goes into the big, ugly muscle, it's called the rumen. It'll prick the walls of the rumen. It'll stimulate the rumen. It'll stimulate activity and uh, also it can slow down the passage of the feed through the rumen itself so the bacteria can feed from the contents of the rumen thereby producing more more milk uh, or more pounds gain in the case of beef. Okay, uh, finally uh, in the Keenan, can you, this is a tractor pull unit, uh, can you get them on the back of, uh, for trucks? Trucks, like a truck? Yeah, truck mount uh, as well and uh, stationary for the, for the 35 to 40 or 50 cow operation that are still feeding like in a, in a tie stall. Does this, uh, with these paddles, does this fit more in a dairy situation or a beef situation or both? That's a very good, it's, it, it'll fit a rumen. And, okay. And, and I, I know that, that maybe a lot of people don't treat the beef animal like a ruminant, but it is part of that family. And uh, the rumen, ruminant actually probably has even an equal effect to dairy from the standpoint that, that a lot of bigger operators with, with beef 
we'll be putting in bread, we'll be putting in citrus peelings like uh, orange peelings, uh, uh, sweet corn, husks, you know there's a variety of commodities they get cheap uh, that they will attempt to put into a ration and the Kenan actually will do a, a tremendous job in terms of being able to incorporate and process it for feed. Cool, well John thanks a lot and good luck with the rest of the show.